Hi there, Eric here, and uh, we're going to be trying to put together a PC. Uh, we, we've been t maybe talking about in class different things that go into making a PC, and what I'm doing now is a PC building simulator, just to kind of show you what all the parts that go into making a PC and what that might look like. So this is a uh, kind of like a shop, right, where we build PCs. I actually had, had a job like this when I was younger, building PCs. So I worked at a place that looked a little bit like this once. Got a bunch of parts over here. Got a work, couple of workbenches, right? We have our couple of input devices, a keyboard and a mouse, and our output device. And what we need to do now is build the computing part of it, right? The stuff that's going to go in from the input, it's going to do all our computing and then display back out to our monitor. So what we need for that first is a case. And looks like we got one in the mail here. I'm just going to pick this up, bring it over to the bench. All right? It's nothing but a case at this point, right? All it is is says the price up there, it's about $60. It's metal, mostly. Some plastic parts, but basically it's what we're going to attach all of the necessary parts to make our PC. And then our input and output devices will connect to this case as well, or to the parts inside of this. Okay? So, I'm gonna walk over here to the parts and grab one of our first parts, which is a power supply. A power supply. Power supply is going to. There we go. Let's go back over here. Power supply is going to supply electricity to the parts inside of our PC. All right. So I'll just pick one. Gonna move around the box and this portion right down here on the bottom. Power supplies are usually all the same shape. We're just gonna put that right in there. Boom. And you can see there's a couple of switches here for on and off. And this is where the electricity will come in from an outlet in the wall, right? So this connects into your case, and then from inside there will be different power cables that will connect to different parts inside of the PC. Right? So that's the power supply. Power supply. Okay. The other one of the most... All these parts are important, of course, but um, building up from the bottom, we're going to add something called a motherboard. A motherboard. Motherboard is like the, the traffic... <laughs> organizer of our PC, right? It's going to connect all of our parts together and route the information, the data, the power where it needs it. So, what we let's go to install here. And what first we have to do, we have to add these little spacers, right? I'm screwing in these little spacers in here. Right? It sticks out just a little bit from the case. And we're going to set our circuit board, our motherboard, down on top of these spacers. And the reason why we need these spacers is that electricity, or I'm sorry, our computer parts are very sensitive to fluctuations in electricity. So the motherboard and most of the parts can't be directly in contact with the metal case because that will screw with the. Uh, the electrical flow inside of the motherboard and that's the motherboards biggest job is moving electricity around to the places that needs it most so you can't have anything messing with that that process so the spacers go in between the motherboard which is now installed and the case so there we go and now you notice that we have a bunch of ports the motherboard is 
gonna, like I said, it's routing traffic from input to output, right? So this is the motherboard's gonna be the place where all of your input and out, uh, input devices, some output, are connected, right? So your internet, LANs, your USB ports, uh, some audio ports, headphones, things like that. All part of this motherboard. And you can see different places to hook in. We're going to be connecting all of our other parts to this motherboard as well. All right. This big part in here, it's got a bunch of little pins in there. Th hundreds of these little, little connector pins inside of here. And this is where we're going to put... I'm going to take a little better look inside of here. Right. All these little tiny connectors. Th uh, hundreds of them I believe I'm not quite sure how many right and that's where we're going to put a CPU CPU is like the brain of the uh, PC right it does all of the computations right you give it a bunch of ones and zeros and it crunches them for you at very very fast rate and <coughs> here we go we'll pick to pick the CPU put it on there close it up make sure it's fastened properly and now our CPU is connected to our motherboard right so if the, all our computing is done here we need a place to load in things inside of our short-term memory our memory this is a place where the PC puts a bunch of data like graphics and um, files for which they need to be worked on and changed very quickly. So let's look for some memory. Anything will do. I'm not going to go into the specifics of what each kind of part is for each one. Let's try a different type of memory here. Oh, we gotta lift up the uh they get connected with these little bracers, so I'm gonna connect these bracers in. There we go. Right, so now we have our our case, power supply, motherboard, CPU, and memory and memory is going to hold this one holds eight gigs of um, information and this is going to be able to quickly move back and forth in the PCU for processing that only works when the computer's on every time you turn off your computer and turn on your computer again everything in this working memory gets erased if there's no electricity running through the PC this doesn't work so we need a place to store all of our information permanently and this, even the information that we're not currently using. Most of the information that we're currently using gets put in this, this memory block. It's, it's called RAM, random access memory. So what we need for that, we need storage. It's got a nice terabyte drive here. Usually goes in a bay. There we go, down here. We need to take off the plate here. screws there we go let's zoom out we got to get inside here there we go let's take off this plate so we can get inside underneath here there's our drive bay we need to connect that with some cables
get some power and then let's connect it to our PC Bam. right okay so we have our storage, our memory, our PC, motherboard. Now let's talk about output graphics. Graphics cards are very important now for PCs because it's the thing that takes the most computation is putting out graphics. Each little pixel, there's now there's millions of them on a screen, needs to be calculated several hundred times a second. So if there's very intensely uh, processed information for the graphics. And these are some crazy race car style <laughs> graphics cards. I'm just going to pick one and put it in the drive bay, but we need to open up the bay first. Let's see here. Let's remove this case part here. the bay. There we go. And probably this one too. Right, these are our cards that connect to our motherboard, but they're going to be able to be connect to because we're going to have to connect a monitor to this, right? So we can output it. So it both needs to connect to the motherboard and we also need to be able to connect a cable to it from the outside of the case. That's why we're moving these parts here. All right, let's put in our, oh, looks like we need to take off one more. There we go. Let's try that again. go huge isn't it most some of the most expensive parts now for a PC are all about the graphics card and if you are doing video editing or playing games you definitely need a graphics card all right let's connect a few more cables here let's get it some power Connected to the. Oh, it needs lots of power. Oh, wow. Okay. This is from the power supply to our motherboard. Getting more power to our motherboard. Alright, we've got power coming from our power supply to our motherboard to our graphics card, to our hard drive, and that's going to power the memory inside. Now we have all of our most basic needs part. You can add other things in here, like sound cards. Back in the day we had those um, graphics cards, network cards. Um, we used to have things called modems. To hook your phone line into <clears throat> but these are the basic parts that are already in it you have your case power supply cpu motherboard memory storage and gpu right <clears throat> oh there's one thing here so the cpu gets super super hot so we need to keep it cool Almost all CPUs get really hot because they run a lot of electricity in a very small area. So let's add a cooling fan to our CPU. Oh, these are fancy ones. Yeah, why not? That's going to go on top of our 
CPU to keep it cool, and it probably needs power. Let's hook that up to the power supply. Oh, I was getting powered from the motherboard. Okay. Is that a case fan? This is going to... blow air in and out of the, the case because also our graphics cards get hot too so not just the CPU we're going to just ventilate the case a little bit I'm going to take this little part off here actually I think we need to remove this part because we can't get at it Go back, get this in here. There we go. Screw it in. All right, that needs power. There we go. Let's put our piece CPU fan back on. big one but <laughs> there we go let's give it some power okay all right now let's click connect all our peripherals to the back here keyboards our mouse graphics card power I wonder if it'll power on. Moment of truth. There it goes. Error. No OS found. <laughs> Got to put an operating system on it. But it booted up. Um, I remember building my first PC. It didn't work the first time. <laughs> but this makes it really easy. So basically, this PC is working. You just now you just need to add the software from which to have all this these PC parts start running so we can input information and that's what things like Windows and iOS and Android do for us let's take a look around this PC a little bit more got the fans whirring we need to put the cover back on the case it's very important so you, no one can stick their fingers in there and get shocked <laughs> but if you open up any PC you'll see these are basic parts let's go through them one last time we have a case a power supply CPU, memory, down below here we have storage, a GPU, and some cooling systems in there. And those connect our input and our outputs. And uh, lo looks like we spent about, what, $1,000 or so? Just on the case and the parts. Alright. That's building a PC. Hope you enjoyed that.